G'day everyone, Master Rabbit here from CapsuleComputers.com.au Today we'll be reviewing a game from Capcom called Resident Evil The Dark Side Chronicles. Now, Resident Evil Dark Side Chronicles is like a second part of the Resident Evil um, series of point and shooters. First one was called The Umbrella Chronicles. And this one here is, as you, as you can see, the Dark Side Chronicles. Now, starting off, um, basically, you're gonna, I'm gonna jump in and show you how the game works. I'm gonna go in and uh, select one of my save files, going in there, and uh, just approving and clicking on yes. Now, moving on. Now, basically, the the game is set up into uh, op we've got a different set of options here. You've got archives which you pick up and shoot along the way. They're like little uh, hidden extras that you find within the game. I'll run through, I'll run through you uh, very quickly on this one. Now when you do pick up stuff in the game, when you shoot it in other words, uh, it, it does appear in uh, the archive section. So you've got for instance characters. So if I jump into characters quickly, you these are the characters that you can you unlock and see and then meet along the way um, in the uh, Dark Side Chronicles um, adventure. So for example, I'm not going to ruin it for anybody, I'm not going to show you who these guys are. But as you can see, once you unlock certain uh, characters, you've got like Leon here. And uh, it's like in Resident Evil 4, if you remember, you know, when you pick up the little toys and um, it will show you, for, in for example, if I click on camera view, you can uh, zoom in and out and you can see what uh, the character looks like. And uh, it's like a little toy, like the how we used to pick up the toys in Resident Evil 4 that you can unlock when you do those little special missions. So basically that's the uh, character section under archive. You got the three different chapters as well. You got uh, Operation Javier, which is the new chapter uh, that we've never seen before. Then we've got Memory of a Lost City, which is Resident Evil 2. And then we've got the game of Oblivion, which is the Resident Evil code name Veronica. That's a great. Ch that's a great chapter as well. All right, moving back. We've got enemies as well, so the, the archives basically run through different styles of enemies that you encounter per chapter. As up up the top you've got the, like the Resident Evil 2 and uh, Resident Evil the, the, the uh, Umbrella Chronicles. Alright, jumping back, uh, as you can see we've got the items. Now when you do unlock special items they do appear here and you can have a look and check them out as well. You've got text notes which is the uh, files as you would, you know, to pick up when you're playing, um, you know, like the normal Resident Evil games, you've got like your files, information on certain things, like for example the Raccoon Police Department. It's like it brings up a log, a log and you can read through the information that, um, and like backstory of, um, you know, the data files that you pick up. Now that's good, I'm not going to wreck it for anything, so that's the text files. Jumping back one more time. Okay, then you've also got movies. Uh, so any movie that you unlock during the game will appear. So this is the, these are the four ones that I've unlocked so far in Operation Javier. Then you've also got the Resident Evil ones, uh, which uh, Resident Evil 2, which I've done, and then the code name Veronica as well. So once again, I'm not going to wreck it for anybody. I'm not going to show you anything. Same thing with voices. And the last one is titles. Titles is like a little like mini achievements. For example, you've got like this one here, which is a uh, head shooter. So if I click on that, that'll basically tell me that I've unlocked an achievement, which we call like a title. And uh, you have pulled off 50 headshots. So there are a lot of different achievements, um, if you want to call them. Uh, Capcom have actually titled them titles, so basically they're just a little bit different in name structure. Um, so yeah, there are a lot of them as you can see, they've got two pages and I think three pages worth of titles uh, that you can unlock. And um, and you'll be able to probably figure those ones out, uh, I'm not going to give you any hints or tips on them. So jumping back out, uh, now the score, the score works pretty much... Um, with every level that you do, you can see what you've done in every section of the game. So, for instance, if I go into Lost City, it'll tell you what I've done on normal. You've got easy, difficulty, normal, and hard. And each chapter is rated by difficulty, and you can see how much you've gotten and what your score was with each level. So that's pretty much simple. Um, the game can be done, as you know, the game can be played in single player and also in multiplayer too. Alright, so jumping back back out all the time, back out one more time. Uh, you've got the Wi-Fi uh, connection settings, which are good. If you like, you can uh, play... Um, and then lodge your score online with other people over the, uh, you know, all over the world. Last, uh, the last one I'm going to talk about is the customize. This is the same as it is uh, in Resident Evil 4 and 5, where you can upgrade. As you get, you, got, you collect money during each mission, and after each mission, you can go in and customize every weapon you've got. So you go through the different weapons you've collected. 
you can customize each one, put more money in and upgrade for uh, each part or each section of the gun like power, fire rate, reload and all that sort of stuff as well. So jumping back out one more time, now I'll, go, I'll take you into the game. Alright, now, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you into one of the sections. We'll, we'll go through the Resident Evil 2 one, as one everyone would probably be familiar with. Uh, we'll go through the, as you can see, every chapter, there's chapter 1, like I said, and it goes around in chapter 3, uh, chapter 4 there, chapter 5, chapter 6, uh, chapter 7 and chapter 8. What we'll do is we'll start off with the first chapter, because I'm just going to give you a quick rundown of how the game plays. You choose either, you can choose either two characters, and you can see the perspective from both sides, depending on which one you want to play as. We'll play as, play as Claire and uh, let the mission load. Before the mission loads, you've got an option to choose all the different type of weapons you can carry with you. You've got them on the left hand side. You've got the left hand side is what you've got. The right hand side is what you can take and move over into the into your little slot. Uh, I'm going to leave it as default. You can change them at any time anyway. So whenever you feel like, you can just uh, start it up and you press on the uh, C button on the control on the Wii nunchuck, and that will take you in. And you can change the uh, the options within within the game while you're playing. Now, this is the movie. As you know, a lot of people would be familiar with the Resident Evil 2 storyline. So this basically follows it follows it very very well. But as you know, it's a you know it's a shooter on rails. So you know you don't, you can't control where you're going. So I'm going to skip this and let the game start so we can get through to the game. So here we are. Basically on the screen, you've got your pointer, and with the B button, that will let you shoot. Move the move the controller out of the way. Uh, as you can see, if I shoot like this and then I move it, flick it up out of the way, it will shoot. Uh, it will reload. Now, if I press the C button, the C button will take you into the main menu. As you can, as I was showing you before, you can choose a different type of weapons and, and allocate them. So, I'll jump back out. Now, you've also got the the uh, the section the button under the, the button underneath the the nunchuck, which actually lets you use the knife. If people get close to you, you can do that. You got the up and down, left and right on the nunchuck to change your weapons. Now you've got the, uh, the handgun which has got unlimited weapons but you know it does reload and you've got to, you've always got to up update that. Apart from that that's pretty much it. You've got the A button which will pick up stuff as you can see the controller changes when you pick that up and then basically you go you go for it. You've got um, zombies at all, play at all locations and uh, you've got lots of different hidden locations as well that you've got to try and shoot off and pick up hidden extras, as I said, like the umbrella files and the and the log files and everything, they're, and they're everywhere. So you've got to pretty much shoot at everything that you see within the game. Now they're 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 everywhere. Uh, like for example, you could probably smack there you go, you smack a shoot shoot the rubbish bin, and the rubbish bin unlocks like a little coin. The coin, as you know, the coin unlocks, and you, you can use that for upgrade weapons and stuff like that. And um, and that's basically it. So you know the game is a shooter. It's just like the original Umbrella Chronicles. It's very very fun. The storyline does follow. It follows the storyline of the of the Resident Evil series in this situation, the Resident Evil 2, and also Resident Resident Evil Codename Veronica, and a new one, the Resident Evil uh, Javia. Now that this is a fa it is a fantastic game. The actual graphics are amazing. The movies that you can see in the cutscenes are fantastic. And uh, it, and the storyline is good, it, really, really good. Like they do, they do throw some extras in. As you know, this is the level of. Uh, let me just pick up a couple of weapons here on the, on the counter, and that's the guy that let us in when you play Resident Evil 2. As you can see, he's been attacked by zombies already. So there's a little bit of the story changes, but pretty much it's it does follow the strict storyline of Resident Evil. Uh, in this situation, Resident Evil 2, fantastic game, a lot of action. It's never boring. And uh, the action with the with the with the Wii mode is good. It's hard sometimes to get a get a shot at because you know you're always moving, so it's pretty much it doesn't make it doesn't make it very simple for you. Uh, but the, that's the that's the challenge and that's the good fun about it as well. So you, as I said, you, you can pick up a lot of things. You can shoot things off, and when you shoot things off, here you go. For example, press A button, I pick up a grenade. So for instance, if I wanted to throw a grenade, I could just throw it like that. And that would kill those zombies over there. So that's pretty much it. So I'm gonna I'm gonna jump out of the uh, I'm gonna jump out of the menu and take you back into the. Um, oh, I'm just gonna leave you here. So pretty much, uh, 
Uh, Master Abbott from Capture Computers would like to give Resident Evil The Dark Side Chronicles a 9 capsules out of 10. It's fantastic. It's a fantastic game. It is. It does follow the strict storyline, but in its own special way, which is fantastic. If you're a fan of the Resident Evil series and also the shooters, this is a must. So go out and grab it right now. It's available at every good store that you can pick up your games at. Master Abbott signing out. Thanks for watching. I hope you have a good one.